Welcome back everyone, F86F-40 Sabre. We're doing the livery of Japanese Self-Defense Force, which is pretty cool looking little plane. Sabres are always cool, but makes it look cute in the, I think it's the Blue Impulse display team. This is a easy build kit. I've never done one before. I think it was $12 Australian, so it is what it is. Thought it would just be a fun little build, something different. And probably a lot of use for younger people, beginners. You might see a few tips and tricks in this. A few struggles along the way as I figure out how to do things. Uh, even when I was a kid, the airfix kits were just airfix kits. So this is completely new to me. It is what, what it is. It's You're not going to get anything super detailed here. But you can come up with a nice little finished model if you take your time, have a bit of patience. In this case, a nice little brush, and I'm going to do this in acrylics, which is something I very rarely do these days. You can see here, you don't have to go crazy with aftermarket parts. I'm just painting in the effect of an instrument panel there in the cockpit. At this scale, it's not going to make a huge difference, and you're not going to go out and buy a whole lot of aftermarket parts on a $10 kit. You would be crazy if you did. So you can see here, just take your time. You can at least give the impression that there's stuff going on. I'm not exactly sure of some of the detail on the painting. I did find some references. I assume some things are going to be standard, like matte black, around the front of the cockpit for obvious reasons. Others I'm um, taking an educated guess and probably using a bit of artistic license. Um, 1950s plane, I just figure leather headrest. So you can see there, it comes together quite nice. There's a bit of flash here and there. Carefully remove it and clean it up. I've seen a lot worse. Not going to mention a company with blue boxes. So it's nothing like that. It's a two-piece wings, fuselage, everything all just clips together. I've come back in there with some super thin or thin cement just to help pull the two halves, I guess, of the plane together. You can see it comes together pretty quick at this point. The fit isn't probably typical to me, but it does go together nicely. What I've done there is I softened the plastic and then added a bit of pressure just to get that nose cowling on nice. And you'll see here the steps I go through just to build up the masking on the canopy. I use, I think it's one mil to me a tape. I can go into more detail on another video on that if there is anyone that's interested. Uh, we're on to the undercarriage. This is fairly typical stuff at this point. Air brakes. It's interesting, they've got nice detail there, and then there's almost zero detail in the wheel wells. So, who knows? For interest, any of you sort of building these yourself, at that point, I haven't glued on the wheels, but they are just sitting there loose. Uh, before you put that canopy on, make sure you clean out the inside. Don't ask me how I know that. And I've used canopy glue. Use PVA if you don't have any. Uh, you'll thank me later for that. Basically, it won't um, cloud the clear plastic. I've come in here with, I think it was AK uh, primer, and I'm just using a light brush just to fill some of the gaps with, uh, I think it's just white paint, can't remember. Oh, it'd be AK. Uh, me, sorry, no, MIG ammo paint. Silver for the wheels. I did actually have a look uh, and check. Had a look at some reference picks. I almost did them white just out of habit, thinking, oh, the rest of the plane's white. I probably have done them white, but no, they were silver. Here is, again, if you haven't seen seen it done, 
how I use a toothpick to mount the wheels so that I can start working on them, clean them up, paint them, etc. In this case, I'm doing the inside the hubs first because then I can use essentially the gap between the tire and the rim here. What I do is I almost let the paint quite liquid at first flow into that rim. You, know, you let the paint do the work. And again, I can go into detail maybe on another video on my exact technique for doing that. By now, it's had, I think, uh, AK Primer. There was uh, MIG, White, and then AK Gloss. And we're right into decals already. Uh, I'm not a fan of putting on huge decals. I would rather paint, make my own masks, um, cricket, cry cut, whatever you call it. I've come back, used a bit of, done a bit of detail here and there. It is what it is at this point. It's starting to look good. Um, you do have to be careful with these big detail decals. They're easy to tear. And I was impatient. I nudged one, I think, on the trailing edge of the wing. In that case, I'd just come back. Uh, I did some color matching, come back and touched up a few bits. And there we are, all done. I'm sure others will do way better than me. I'm not a fan of acrylics, but I get why they're popular. Don't forget to check out my other videos, like, subscribe and all of that, and we'll catch up in the next one. Have fun.